And good morning viewers on the live stream. We're not hearing from KM Port on video services. If you are here at the meantime, please do leave your comments in the comment section. Give the video a thumbs up and please do share the link. Thank you for joining me. Okay, viewers, pleasant, good morning. Uh, we're here as we are key and important with the services from Santa Cruz St. Elizabeth. As we're here doing the live stream for the late Desmond, you're free to do so. In the meantime, please leave your comment section. Leave your comments in the comment section, sorry. And please share the link if you're not available at the funeral. And remember, Kian and Photon Video Services were from Santa Cruz Center. We start for the late starting of the live stream as the, we are waiting on few people to be arrived at the funeral. So we are here now doing the viewing. So please do leave your comments as I said before and share the link. And remember, we do live streaming, motorcade service, weddings, we do t shirt printing, and much more. 
Our business number is 496-3158. That's 496-3158. Office number is 815-0383. I repeat, 815-0383. Thank you. Alright guys, so we are going to give you all the steps of the program so you can run through and have a look at idea of what's going on in the Thanksgiving service of Desmond Blake. Alright, so we are at the order of service where you can run through guys and see. So remember, if you are not seeing the video clearly, please go in your settings in your YouTube and change the quality to the highest quality level. Remember some location where you're at, you can have a little itching of your internet connection. So please go into your settings and change the quality. Thank you.
and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor cry, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are past.
dating from Simon, Psalm 19, verse 1 to 7. The Lord is to have been our dwelling place for all generations. The four mountains are born, are your brought forth toward the whole world. From everlasting to everlasting to our God. You turn people to God, saying, Return to God. You want us a thousand million times on our life again. Come on, let the church praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like to say this. It's amazing what praises can do. Amen. And we have a tour in the house of comfort. We want to extend our condolences to the very family at this time. We also want you guys to know that God is still with you. And in spite of the loss, God is still God. Amen. Amen. And we want you guys to know that we will come to pray for you guys in this time. Many times in my childhood I traveled so far by the night of the sea. I walked my father's house would sit around me so shame.
for part of us when we knew the day God called you home. But to take the rest, my brother. Tribute 
to Mr. Blake. Desmond is a very hard working man. I came in contact with Desmond, not in George's life, but in New River in Santa Cruz. My mom has some relatives living in New River, and we normally go to New River. When we go by Brother Granville, Desmond is there. If we go by Cousin Desmond is there. If we go by Minkin, Desmond is there. So at one point, I believe Desmond was a family member. A very hard working man. And when I say hard working man, nowadays, and I'm going to say this with absolutely no apologies, these young people, nowadays, they don't want to do certain work. They are in quick quality. But Desmond, a very hard working man. He do anything when he's going to get his money. When my father died, Desmond was the one who cleaned up the, the property. And after that, every year Desmond is the one that cleaned the property. I didn't have to pay to one to clean the place. Sometimes Desmond called and said, start cleaning the place. And I said, Desmond, we don't have no money. He said, yeah, but you have no problem, you have money. And I said, all right, we're going to finish cleaning the place. Just check with this face and this face will be with you. A very hard working man. And I, I pause to tell Maureen, God bless you. Maureen, God bless you. God bless you, Maureen. Hallelujah. I pray that the blessing of the Lord will overtake you and overshadow you. Then you're going out and then you're coming in. In the name of Jesus. Oh, rest high on the mountain. Sun, Ourselves in terms of you know, we lose our love, we feel like crying, 
I saw this my sister here, and uh, you know, there's a part of the healing process right here. That's a part of it. And so we just feel like trying to go ahead and try because that is really how you know we get to that healing process. I don't want to take it for granted that we all know um, but a very ardent great supporter. And I really understand that he was a very hard working man. And it's unfortunate that you know what happened to him, he was suffering for some time, but God knows everything best. And in the right time, he will love, love you know, what is best for us. And um, I get to understand that he has been aiming for some time. And I do believe that whenever it is that, you know, we are ill, and um, we're there in that state of illness, I believe, Pastor, that a man has so much more time to make things right with God. And I believe to say that this man had enough time to put himself together because he can't do enough. He's like ready to have heroes. But I believe that God allowed him enough time, this time of his illness, to make it right with him. And I am confident and feeling confident that he would have done the right thing. But we are here today. And I want to say, it doesn't matter what we have in life. It doesn't matter what car that we can be able to drive or what status, what position that you occupy in life. A man without Christ, we are nothing. Absolutely nothing. And so when we come to this gathering and we come and we celebrate the life of our beloved one and we see what is happening, we understand that too. That death comes at a time when we can say, no, tomorrow is never guaranteed to any of us. None of us. And so I say to all of us who are here, you have the opportunity. You have the opportunity today to listen. And you can choose to begin to serve the Lord today. Any of us can begin. We are in the right place. I remember Elder when my grandmother went to get baptized. I don't think that's anything about baptism in the past. Right at the riverside. Right at the riverside. The word captured me. And I gave my life to the Lord and the difference that made me make a great difference. I'm saying to somebody today that your life can be different today. Only thing you have to do is to just say yes. So once again, to the families, pride to have to. Thank you. Difficult right here. But God is able. His providential care goes way beyond our imagination. And he will gather the family for you. God bless you. Thank you for the privilege of these few minutes. Thank you very much. Bless you.
we are going to our second line of physics, and we are dealing with Sister Stephanie Watson, followed by Ayo Free for the four trees, followed by Dwight. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ 
how many commandments? And then that background, I want to start to understand that I keep on repeating this over and over. The church is the gateway to the community to heaven. And I want to extend this beyond the Seventh-day Adventist church. All the churches in our community has a commitment. And the church's commitment is to point every soul to Christ. And if we find ourselves not doing that, the church is failing the community. And in our commitment, it is only fair for you to understand that the background under which the church serves, that you have an obligation to be committed to what the church stands for. And that is to ensure that we all point to the same direction, and that is to point us to the kingdom of God. I want you to understand that even though at times we may accommodate mixed multitude in the church, the church is doing its part because there are times and we know that some people will never put their foot in a church unless there are two functions, a funeral service and a marriage ceremony. And it is at this point that the church gets an opportunity to remind the community that there is a God, that there is salvation, there is a soul to be saved, and you are not left out. The church does its part to ensure that the spiritual need of the community is catered to. It means, therefore, that when you attend these churches, when you attend these churches for whatever function, you should come to that function with an open heart, a hope in mind, to receive God's word because it is essential for all of us. And if we find ourselves not doing that, it means therefore that we are failing and when we are failing, we are heading for one place that no one wants to go but still work to go there and that is hell. Early on, I spoke to some vendors. I don't hold up anything, and you know that about me by now. I spoke with them, and I spoke with them from the heart. That while the church serves the community, the church has a standard. And if you cannot respect the standard of the church, it means therefore that you have no respect for God. And often times, I will see people come to church and they're walking in the church and they have their own glass and their own bottles in their hands. And they have these type of mixtures coming into the house of God and that tells me where the society is the respect for God is not there. So some people will take the house of God for a club. And you will bring anything into the house of God. But I want to let you know that God is so merciful that sometimes I believe what you would want to do with some persons who walk inside this temple with these kind of things that he holds back for a particular reason. But I want to tell you, 
God has a time when he ramps rough.
is something that they're looking forward and as soon as they get to the gun. You have some people in the families like that. They are not careful about people's feeling. It's all about them. And the love of God does not work like that. When God is in your heart, you show fear, you show concern because you are committed to the goodwill of each other. And when you find yourself not doing that, you are faithful. Some people, they are committed to a relationship because of what they can get. Some people are committed to a marriage because they know that when they are in this family, these are the things that they can get. But as soon as life gets sober, the commitment is done. Being committed, it means you have to have guts. You have to have gumption because when the rubber hits the road, that's how you know that you are committed. When the rubber hits the road, when the push comes to shove and you recognize that your back is against the wall and you look around and you do not see who next to help you, you recognize what commitment is. Be committed. Being committed is a great responsibility because God is a God of commitment and if we cannot commit ourselves to the goodwill of each other, where are we going to find ourselves with God? Commitment is very important because you will find some people, they are committed when they have a lot of things to give. When they have it all, they are committed because they are committed to show off. They are committed to show what it is that they can do. You have some people like that because it's all about them. So they committed to themselves and about themselves. And everything they do, they do it because they are looking honor, they are looking glory, they are looking praise. But there is no God in it. Some people will not recognize the companies they keep that they are uncommitted until when something bad happens to them. Some people will not recognize that the shoulders that they lean on, the companies that they keep, the friends, the places that they go, they talk along with people, they do not recognize how selfish these people are until when something gone bad with you. There are others just to say that they are committed because they are always in need. And as soon as something works for them, as soon as life takes a different tone and they start to find themselves having a little bit more money in their pockets, they can do this, they can do that, they can drive a car, they get a good education, they can take care of this, they can take care of that. They have got commitment to God. All of a sudden, it's all about them. There was one such man that I will make mention of for you to understand that when God ready to run, he run rough. You know, sometimes, brothers and sisters, you find some things going on in your life and you're wondering what will happen. Sometimes some people look up and you start to look around and say, I am doing this, I am doing that, and nothing not going on for me. And then you hear the bad guy come up and say, Boy, I'm going some people crush me and they start to walk over their party when the biggest fool of this bad mind. But as soon as something good starts to happen and life not good, guess me what? We forget about the goodness of God. God goodness not running after me anymore because we can manage on our own. God can about his business. 
there was such person in the Bible we call him Osiah. And it tells us that Osiah did that which was right in the sight of God and God helped him. You have some people, they come to church. They come to church with one desire because they need help from God. So they try to be obedient to God's will. And God helped them. And as soon as God helped them and they start to feel good about themselves, they forget God. A lot of people in our communities are like that. They don't know anything about God until when something comes up and they see an opportunity, then they start to run to God. They run to Jesus. And I want to tell you that the more they run to Jesus and the more they pour their heart out, it's the more God always have a way to show them, say, hey, if you come on your journey, I will bless you. But let me tell you something about God. Be careful what you pray for because if you keep on praying for the same thing over and over, make sure so you're ready for it. Pray! And what happened? God finally gives you what you pray for and it don't make no Messiah. He prayed to God, he come to God, and he prostrate at God's feet because he feels more or less that as long as he keeps on doing what he's supposed to do, that God will bless him. But here he said that God help him. Sometimes I don't bless God, bless you know. God help him before he bless me. And the help always come because he's always listening. Because he's the God that says that if you ask and you have according to his will, he will give it unto us. But you must make sure that when God help you, you use the help to be blessed. If you don't use it to be blessed and to be blessed by God, that God can give you what he has in store for you. Guess you what your life coming out to be nothing. Here is it with this man. Osiah. Second Chronicles 26, the story here tell you that when Osiah was strong, he's not weak anymore. When he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction for he transgressed against the Lord his God. Sometimes God bless us with some things and instead of being to honor and glorify God. We do it to honor and glorify self and end up in a destruction. You ever see some people yet? They just have go on in their life and they're just making it. They're making it. They're making it. And all of a sudden, you just see them just start doing the job. You ever find yourself, you work hard, you work some money, and you make a good cup of money. And one day when you look around, you don't even see what you're using money and hmm. you be careful of what we do because life has a way that when we forfeit God, God just stop blessing you and all that you have just goes straight to waste. Because we fail in our commitment to Him. But look at the opposite to Hosea. Everybody knows the story of Job. Job was a rich man. Job was a billionaire. Job has everything that he wants to his advantage. And one day, one day Job was tested. And in less than 24 hours, the billion here became a pauper. Job was the kind of person that we would love to emulate because he had it all. It was not his because
because God gave it to him to bless him so that he used it to his honor and glory. But here it is. Job lost everything and Job's heart was steadfast to his commitment to God. Job in his conclusion, he said, in Job 1 verse 21, he said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return here. The Lord gives, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Sometimes you walk your toe and you say, Lord God Almighty. Sometimes you drop and you say, Jesus Christ. Sometimes some things happen to you, and instead of you say, God, Medea, I thank you, God. Some words come out of your mouth, and the meditation that comes out of your heart, I'll see it alone. How are we supposed to make it to the kingdom of God if we are not committed? Commitment, my friends. It's one thing that God does not play with because it tells us if we are not committed to him, we are none of his. You know what I mean? You in a relationship with somebody and you are not committed to the person. Today, you're there with people. Tomorrow, you're going to town. The next day, you're going to hurry. And something bad happened to you. Big time and hurry and I'll pray because we're not committed to you. This is the same thing with God here. Whenever you are committed to Him and committed to His cause, it means, therefore, that He is always going to be here for you. So here we are in this kind of setting because we know that God is a God of commitment. So somebody in our family died. Somebody passed on what we do. We know that we need to come to God because it tells us that the wages of sin is dead. You're here today not because of this man at this time, because this man has no use to none of us now. We are here today yet showing respect for what he has meant to all of us in some way. We all have a forte of what this man needs you here for, that you are committed to something that even in that you are going to be where we are until he's no more. That is a kind of commitment God wants from all of us. That even in death, we must be committed to Him. If you are committed to money, you will not be satisfied because money can't satisfy anybody. The more you have, the more you will want, and the more you will want, is the more you will try to get because it will never be enough. If you are committed to friends, it is a good thing. But in our estimation, friends will fail us. If we are committed to our relationship, and each spouse is our commitment to each other. Your life will be so happy because you are knowing that the person that you love is committed to you and you are committed to them. The same goes. If you are thinking about heaven, you have to commit yourself to the heavenly lifestyle. It is not that you do anything that you want to do down here and when Jesus comes, you're ready to go up there and go do the things that you know you're supposed to do. I'm a sucky world. 
You have to show commitment to Christ. So when Jesus looked down on you, he can see that even though you are weak, you are showing some sign of commitment. And he said that whatever it is that you are doing, he has more than enough for you to make it to his kingdom. Commit yourselves. Commit yourself to something. Commit yourself to Christ. Because when we are committed to Christ, we don't need to worry if we walk out of here and we drop the outer road. Because we know because we are committed to Christ, we are safe in God's hands. Your coming here today is no mere form. You are showing some level of commitment. But the man that commits himself to Christ is a happy man. Let me tell you something, Reggie. When I visit Desmond, and Desmond is in pain. Me, healthy, fit, strong black man. When we visit Desmond, we feel stronger when Desmond don't talk to me. No joke. For a man who is going through so much pain, me no feel it, you no feel it, you no know, you no experience it, in in a hit. And this man will find it in him to encourage you, me, who go and look for him. Tell me something. If he was not committed to Christ, he could not do something like that. When you are committed to Christ, my friends, you do some extraordinary things that you yourself don't understand. So commitment is a good thing. Commit your ways to the Lord. And the more we commit ourselves to Him, He will direct our path. God is faithful. He's more than here. He's capable of doing much more than we can imagine. Because at the end of the day, if we are not committed to him, it didn't make any sense. We were born. Oh. 
Desmond became saved at the Dark Valley Sunday Church on the 13th of October, 2020. His church had been made short of business and first of the future, and extended there to the new year. Desmond got the doctor declined earlier this year, and as such, his visits to the doctor became more frequent, and finally, he took a toll on his body. He transitioned on the 21st of September, 2020. He's left to mourn his common law wife, Maureen, his children, Sashar, Shane, and Sean, his grandchildren, a host of brothers and sisters, nieces, nephews, cousins, and friends. Let me take the time to extend gratitude to Maureen.
in their spiritual needs. Into your hands we commit them to your God, to your care, that you will continue to take care of them, to guide God and protect them from all harm and danger. And that they also will see your goodness and is more committed to you by giving their life to you, dear Father, that you can prepare a place in your kingdom for all of them. Unto that day, Heavenly Father, we pray that you will teach us to number our days and apply our heart to wisdom. For us to be wise is to know you, and to know you is to do what you say, because your will is important to us, and if we connect our lives to your will, it will be well with us. Until then, continue to be with us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. The acts of the Lord here is to come close and we say our departing song and we go for great Just a moment. Please listen before you move. I'm right to take one hour. Thank you. Good afternoon. 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 Good Okay, viewers, thank you guys for watching. So, I'm not going to end the stream, I'm going to do the motorcade from the church to the girl's side. So, keep tuning in for me.
and if the video is a little bit blurry you know we are trading from our location so you know signal is gonna be a job of the network so keep tuning until we reach the grave side and you will see from the church to the grave side thank you for watching come here come hold this with me please let me just lock up this no 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 she 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 pull up a piece of glass on the box pull this up so what are you gonna drive? no um yeah i'll drive You have led me through the fire Okay viewers as I said before keep tuning We are heading to the graveside and thank you for watching Remember we are located in Santa Cruz St. Elizabeth You can come through You can come through Good pass our front Pass our come Bad bro, what are you coming? Alright, so we're going down to the great side. As you can see, viewers. Guys, remember that's the mind of the video service. If the video is not clearly, because we are moving to the great side now. So keep joining. Hold on, may I jump up? Domo, 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 Domo. Run to the side. Run. Yo, rest in the lot, bro. Rest in the man. Come back, bro. Yo, pull over that. I'm a curious. Come back, come back. Pull over. I'm a curious. Come back, come back. Bad bro, may I do my thing, Miji? May I do my thing, Miji? Let's go, Miji. Come down, Miji. Go, Miji. Okay, viewers, tune in. Remember KNM Food and Video Services, we are located in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. We do funerals, weddings, parties, and so much more. We do printing of t-shirts, funeral buttons, funeral programs. Remember we are located in Santa Plaza, Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. Business number of 496-3158, office number is 
Zero Tree, Main Street, call us guys for the best of the best and we are located and available for any location. So we are now live in George's Valley, St. Elizabeth. Now we are on our way to the graveside. side. As I said before, you can change your quality in the settings. If the video is not clearly of the doing the motorcade now, we are moving to a different location. So signal will be dropped. You're not gonna get a full quality of network at certain locations. Thank you for tuning in also. Sleep, 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 good. I got too far. Yo, you have a right up in the yard. Here. A right up in the yard. Guamaji, Guamaji. Yo, come here, boy. If you want to cover, we are over money. Forward. Make it lick, man. We are over money, man. Make it come. Make it come through. Rich boy. Yeah. At that, too. My apology, viewers. Yo. Go on up there, man. Go on up there. My apology for your bad red viewers. Go straight to the top. Go on, Maji, go on. I don't feel like. Why is that road here? I walk with him, Maji. Simple. What do you feel like? What do you want to come in and do? Think I say go. Then away. It was in the meantime as the hearse is 
Everything active, man. All right, see chef them over there, sir. Top chef, top something. All right. <laughs> All right, viewers, and the hearse is out the way. We are down there, so let's keep tuning as the hearse is ready to come up. Oh, gee, that's park here, sir. Right as a BG, right as a. Right as a, the park here, sir. Fly chunk. Come, um, yeah, Jay, come work with me, please. Well, I'm going change the battery. Viewers, in the meantime, I apologize about what happened just now. I'm just changing the battery to go down where the hearse is. There's some little issues that down there. With the... No, move it, me, Jay. I'll change the battery. Hold this, please. I soon. You put him in front, man. You put him in front. Come take every camera from me. Come know your man is this. You have light on. Look here, all your bands. Try for every three tag yourself and say, "I'm gonna three tag yourself." Take care of that too. Thank you. How far are they in there? Hold on, Jay. Hold on, hold on. You don't want to fly back to your own You don't want to take out it. My apology. Sorry, sir. No, don't take out your tie bag. Good. Give me a control. Give me a control. What you say? Tune in, viewers, tune in, tune in, tune in. Yes, yes, Mitchie. Everything active, my You're good, though. Which is right. Take yourself in, my friend, and come to our viewers. I'm ready to leave your comments. Step, 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 step. Step, step, step. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, please. 
とこは生えてるんちゃうなこれどうもありがとうございます。
all are satisfied in your life. And we will try to remember, gentlemen, in some way, based on our relationship with you. At this time, we are about to do a few more meters. This is part of the ground. I'm asking you all to pay attention. And please listen as we participate in this aspect of this term. In light of these promises, God has given us His word. And it as much as it pleases the Lord in His sovereign wisdom and purpose to take from us this our dearly beloved brother. One whom we love, Desmond. He now commits his body, murderer, as he to us, dust to dust. And we look forward to the day when Jesus shall come. That the same place when he makes that call, that Desmond will come up and will go up to meet him in the air. Those of us who are faithful will also go up to meet Christ in the air, and so we shall be. So let us have hope that this is not the end of it. That is just a pause in the life to come. That as long as we are faithful, we will live forever. And until that time, we look forward to his blessed appearance. Bow your heads where you are. Close your eyes as we pray. We're going to offer a word of prayer. Okay, gentlemen, just pause right where you are. Gentlemen, pause right where you are. As we pray. As we are, as we pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the life of this our dear beloved brother Desmond, who has lived in this community. And we will all will remember him for something good that he has done. But more so to take the good and to emulate that his life will live on as we remember him. We're asking you to be with the family members who will be remiss of him there, Father, we pray. Continue to teach us to number our days and apply our hearts to wisdom. And as we live, we will live a committed life to you, we pray. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 All these care givers will take care of you. We can sing some choruses. The first one there says, No grave can hold my body down.
Uh, we are going to end the stream because as we see we have at least a jeep of rain right here now and the, you know the equipment cannot wet so we have to just we have to just end the stream of the water cannot wet equipment